Before we get started on home improvement projects for the holidays, let's begin with a little fun that will keep everybody entertained long after the trip to fan wears off. Is that a thing? Yes. That is a thing. <laughs> Our favorite mama gone geek, Lynn Brunel, has a bunch of new science experiments up her sleeve. So we're going to take Ooh, a look up there well, and find out what they are. How are you? I'm good. Happy I'm Thanksgiving. Good. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. We've got fun we have experiments. to do with people of all ages during the process of making Thanksgiving before and after. So science should always have a seat at the table, I think. I love it. I love um, it. Frosty crystal frosty leaves. Frosty crystal leaves. These could be a lovely centerpiece and it's Look fun for kids. So like there's a lot of levels you can do. This is just construction paper yeah. and you dip it in a salt solution mm -hmm. and then you pull it out in the crystals form. What's fun about this is you can go beforehand, go for a hike through the woods, collect leaves, trace them onto oh, the construction. Oh, you can do it with real leaves? Well, you want to you do it with something oh, that's absorbent. Oh, you just absorbent. trace them. Okay. But you can trace Got them, it. but you can do a little, a, a fun little treasure hunt so that kids can look at the different kinds of leaves, trace them, cut them out. Yeah. So I cut out a few. I have some hot, hot water in here and borax, which you can get in the laundry. You can also do this with salt if you don't have borax. But basically, you want to put way too much borax into the water, <laughs> more than you think will absorb. You stir I didn't it know up. There was bor borax. Oh, borax is great for crystal making. Sure. So I'll stir all stir. that up, and then it, once it is sort of dissolved. What you want to do is you want to get the hottest water you can, put the salt in until it just doesn't absorb anymore, and you've got a super saturated salt solution. Okay. Oh, I'll say that ten times fast. So and then, shall I dump <clears throat> these? We're going to pour it in this plate. Okay. So go ahead and put the, pla the leaves in the plate. Alrighty. And then we're going to pour this over it, and what's going to happen as the solution cools, crystals are going to form, and they're going to absorb into this paper, and then start crystallizing on the paper and then you pull it out and dry it and you get this you get that this is like, so cool yeah, it's really kind of it's like it's like glitter that you don't hate because it, it it's doesn't not get like everywhere ever, yeah okay that's pretty so awesome so there's that now uh, say you're making pies you're getting ready but the rolls are hot and you don't have any butter and you're like oh my god I don't have any butter for the you can make butter <laughs> this is easy so grab a container okay you get heavy cream because you've got whipping cream right mm -hmm. and I'm going to put it halfway full okay and then you're going to cover it up all right. And uh, shake. I'm going to shake it. You're going to shake, shake, shake. Okay. So you just have to do that for 20 minutes. <laughs> Which Surely is really you have a child in your house who right. can do this. And you can pass teenager. it around. You can pass it around. The cool thing is, if you put uh, a little salt in it, you get mm -hmm. your salted butter, and you shake and you shake and you shake and you shake and you shake, and then pretty soon, uh, all of a sudden, you're shaking and it turns to whipped cream, so like nothing's moving around inside right. of it anymore, and you're like, whoa. So you put it in a little hot water just to melt it, keep shaking, and, and keep then all shaking of a sudden, thakunk, you get this. How like, do you know when you've got butter? Because when you've it got goes, thakunk. It does. And, yeah, and then you've got, see that? Oh my gosh, butter? you've got you butter in there. I bet it's delicious too. Um, it is does it delicious. Matter what kind of heavy cream? No, nope, just use? heavy cream, and then you pour off. That's buttermilk. So you pour it off. You can use it for another recipe, and you've got this fresh butter. That and is it's really genius. cool. So the science behind that is that milk and cream is like a lot of fat and protein mm -hmm. and water, and the fats want to like clump together. They're like clicky, and so you're shaking, 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 and the molecules and just blah, 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 until all of a sudden you get this glob, and that's your butter. I love it so much. Uh, all right, this is a chromatography turkey that you can do. So <clears throat> coffee filter and waterproof markers. You basically just uh, make a little, yeah, go ahead, any okay. color that you want. You can proceed yeah. while I take And then on, I do it on both sides so that it's really saturated in that coffee filter. And okay. then it takes some water because this is the solvent. The solvent is water. So because this is a waterproof marker, um, the water is going to absorb into, pull it in here, absorb into the coffee filter and start moving up. Mm -hmm. And as it does, it's going to take the color with it, and you'll see oh. it. And this is called chromatography. They actually do this in um, in CSI labs. Like if if you want to find out who wrote the the note, you take the pen and you ink it onto a piece of filter paper, and you put it in a sol solvent like water or rubbing alcohol. You? It pulls up, and then in every single so you can see here, there's sort of a signature of the color and how it spreads. See how the oh. red is, is carried up further? Okay. Every single kind of ink is going to have a different kind of signature, so you can actually compare the strips, and then you'll get um, You'll, you, you, can, you can figure out what pen it belongs to, but right. you can see it start to move now. Can you yeah, see it? And it's, absolutely. And it's pushing up. And so it's, it's fun because it's instantaneous, but this is one of those projects you can set aside 
and it'll crawl. And let it do its yeah, thing. Yeah, it'll crawl. But you can see it now. It's already starting to change. Yeah. And then you just turn it inside out, stick a clothespin on it, and obviously you have to have googly eyes. You and put who googly, googly eyes on this one. And you get a little turkey centerpiece or a place turkey. tag if you want. There but you you're go. actually learning about chromatography along the way, and you get a little chemistry happening. Do, 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 do. Happy <laughs> turkey. All right, what's and next? And speaking of chemistry, I love this because it kind of goes back to my organic chemistry classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can make molecules if you want to talk about how molecules are made with atoms. Only you would make molecules. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have extra cranberries. You always have extra cranberries, right? Because they give you too much for the cranberry sauce. So you get little kids to make. <laughs> this is a, a, a water molecule. It's got a hydrogen and two oxygens. Yes. You can explain that. Or you can just build with it. All and right, this now is we're in my wheelhouse. Yeah, there we go. And then you can see who can build the tallest cranberry and toothpick uh, structure. structure. And, then, uh, and then you can do things with experiments. You can put things on it to see if it weights. But that's a great thing to do for kids of all ages. Yeah. Like, how can I build a, the strongest structure? That's an extra cranberry. So you've got that. All right, cranberries, because cranberries have a, a pigment, they're obviously, mm -hmm. it's cranberry color. <laughs> um, the purple they're comes exactly from... They're exactly cranberry color. Yeah. yeah. So the chemical is called anthocyanin, and it's what comes out when leaves uh, change from green to fall colors, right? The, the red colors. But it's also a pH... Uh, detector, mm -hmm. which means that if you've got a base, which is baking soda, and an acid, you're going to see different colors. It'll tell. So why don't oh, you take cool. a spoonful uh, of the baking soda and put it into this one? Alrighty. Do I stir it or just you put can it stir in? it in and you're going to fizz. Oh, Ooh, I might do. Oh my goodness! Oh. And we've lost oh, containment, people. Okay, sorry about the table. That's clock. okay. We'll be all right. <laughs> I can show you a cool science experiment on how to get rid of it. So, <laughs> so basically. What, uh, cranberry is acidic, and when you mm -hmm. put a base in, it's going to react like that. But when it stops it fizzing, purple, yeah, it's true. It's different color. It changes the color. So wow. the color of this cranberry, wow, it really is fizzing. <laughs> Let's I might have overdone it. On ooh, the, that's dark purple. The purple. Um, all right. I don't know that you can see it. Do we have enough liquid left? Let's see. It's a different color. It should be purple. Well. It will be. Yeah. And, and this is fun, too. If we just want to make a volcano, we can do that, too. So the thing is, if you put, if you put base in, it's going to turn purple. If you put an acid in, like lemon juice, it's also going to change color. And also, this one, it would change it back to the color. Oh, that's So this is a fun a chemistry so that's kind thing. kind of like this an anti antidote for... Yeah. All right. So we need to uh, call now, the kids out. We have to call the kids out. Come on out, kids. All Where right. do you want them? I want them. They know their, they they know know their, their spaces. Okay. okay. Ye there's one end, and there's We're another end. I need the straws on the end on races, that side. We're going to right? And, it, and shorten the string so it fits. All right. We just okay. have about a minute left, but okay. we have a big finish, so we're going to do this. We do have this. a big finish. Okay. Da -da -da. There we go. Now, stretch on there. We have balloons, and we have turkeys. <laughs> one's Margaret, Margaret, one's me. Faces All right. on them. There we go. You hold the turkeys. Okay. Bring the straws the back. All right. And I know you love blowing up balloons. Oh, more than anything. <laughs> Do you want me to blow yours up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a balloon. We're gonna tape uh, it how can I help to. You? You're gonna. I'm. Uh, oh, this one is. The, I'm gonna tape the balloon to the straw. We have a straw on string. Okay. I'm gonna. I, surely tape. I can help you. You don't. You need another you can, hand. Yeah, and you no, need to. Yes. Yeah, so if you give me another piece of tape. Okay. And then I'm going to tape the balloon here. Here you go. Here we go. I'm going to tape it right there to there. Right here? Yeah. Like so? Yeah. All right. And then, um, since we're running out of time, let's just put you and see how fast you go. Okay. Tape yourself here tape just myself. to the... Tape my turkey self. Take your turkey... To yep. this balloon. All right. And what we're going to do... That was the worst taping job in the That was a pretty bad job. Yeah. of <laughs> taping anything. I wasn't going to say um, anything, but... Well, you would have been right to, because that was pretty horrible. All right. So Hold on. I'm, I'm not attached. Okay. <laughs> She's an unattached I'm turkey. I'm an unattached turkey. <laughs> I am. All right. So pull it tight, guys. And you can make races of these and... <laughs> and, oh and you can play with different kinds of string and different balloons. <laughs> That was Come awesome. On. Come on over here. <laughs> okay. We've got a final silly human science trick to do, and this is fun with kids and people of all ages. Uh, if you're limber enough. If you yeah. And this is my this is my son Leo, and these are her, Hi, his friends. Hi, everybody. <laughs> all right, so they sit in a chair. You guys mm -hmm. know what to do. Lean back. Okay, so if you don't have a table, you need an extra table for Thanksgiving. You there don't have one, are. but you have chairs. Here's the table. Just put and then your we table. Go ahead and warn them, but pull the chairs out. Ready? I'm, I'm warning one, two, you, three. Leo. I'm warning you, Kara okay. and Charlotte you and ready? Morgan. Here it and comes. 
Da, 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 da. The human, human table, Human everyone. table. <laughs> Yay, thank you very much. Please be limber and have lots of Advil if you're going to do this at home. You definitely should. You, you can, uh, well, do I you don't know, to, collapse, hold on. You, do <laughs> you, sh you should check out Lynn's Mama Gun Geek website if you haven't already. She always has the best science experiments the whole family can do, so it's great fun for everyone. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yes. Everybody's well. When we come back, we're going to get a jump start on making holiday cookies easier by organizing the kitchen. We've got a genius solution for you after this break.